Welcome to episode 19 of Ask the Grounding Experts, where our experts from ENS Grounding Solutions answer your engineering questions about the world of grounding and earthing. Today, our fearless leader, David Stocken, answers a question emailed to us by Martin G. What is the difference between a ground wire and a neutral wire? Fill us in, David. Well, that's a great question. What is the difference between neutral wires and ground wires or protective earth wires if you're listening to us in, uh, in one of the IEC countries? Uh, I tell you, I think uh, every electrical engineer and every electrician at some level has had that question asked to them and we all kind of stop for a minute. Uh, well, that's hard to explain, you know, is kind of the answer uh, for most cases, but there really is a good answer to this. And first of all, the term neutral wire sounds very innocent and kind and the reason where we get this neutral wire is this is the wire that's tied to the neutral voltage point of a transformer but there's nothing neutral about a neutral wire the neutral wire carries as much current as a hot wire does on it uh, on it it in fact nearly exactly the same amount of current in fact that's how our gfci uh, breakers work if you recall it looks for a difference in current between the hot wire and the neutral wire and if it's more than about 5 to 30 milliamps it trips and turns the circuit off uh, that's how exactly the same they are so if you're pulling 10 amps on your hot wire there will be 10 amps on that neutral wire uh, it's just because it's going back to the center tap of that winding and across the winding it's the neutral point of the winding as far as voltages go but there's nothing neutral about neutral wires in fact i tell people maybe we should turn them and uh, change the name and call them deadly death wires because more people are probably killed by neutral wires than any other single conductor in the entire circuit because it sounds so innocent. Oh, it's neutral. You know, how can that be a, a problem? You know, but it, they're really, they're full of, it, it's not the volts that gets you, it's the amps and they have as many amps on them as the hot wire so they will kill you just as easily as a hot wire will. So, but it is very confusing because if you think about it, where do we tie our ground wire? Well, we tie our ground wire also to that exact same neutral point on the winding. So here you have two wires, one of them that, you know, is coming out of it and it's, we call it the neutral, and the other one is a ground wire. At the ground wire, we can touch it all day long, but the neutral wire, we keep it in conduit, we insulate it, we treat that neutral wire exactly the same as our phase hot wires. Uh, because again they're very deadly so how can it be that one wire can be tied to the exact same point and be deadly and the other wire tied to the exact same point not be deadly and it can sound it can be very confusing and the key is quite simple actually the neutral wire is tied to the other end of the load the ground wire is not so the phase wire comes out of the winding it's got all the voltage and amps runs across the resistor and goes into a neutral wire and heads right on back. That closed circuit is what we're talking about. If there's 10 amps on that circuit, it hits the resistor, there's still 10 amps, comes all the way back to the winding and we have a complete circuit. The ground wire, which we don't insulate, we don't protect anybody from it, we pull it out from the uh, same spot on the winding but we don't connect it to the load. It is not tied to the hot wire, so there's no current on it. It's a non, normally non-current carrying conductor. Uh, the easiest way to think about this, again, I always, in my mind, I always like to think of a refrigerator that's sitting on rubber pads. Uh, you have a hot and a neutral wire that come in and they're running the motor. Uh, the uh, refrigerator every time the, the compressor starts it vibrates and vibrates you got a metal case around the refrigerator sitting like a car on rubber wheels and 
after so many times it keeps vibrating, it cuts a little bit into that hot wire. And all of a sudden the case of the hot of the of the refrigerator also becomes energized, but it has nowhere to go. So it just sits there waiting for you to come along and get a midnight snack and you get electrocuted. It goes through your hand because of the rubber wheels, rubber pads. It's sitting there waiting for you, your bare feet. You grab the handle and it passes through your heart into the earth. And that's a bad, bad midnight snack. Uh, if we add that ground wire that's just sitting there waiting just in case, now it's tied to the chassis. If that hot wire gets uh, touches that case, it immediately travels all the way back to the transformer uh, so that the circuit breaker can operate, causes the circuit breaker to trip instantly without anybody being there. The fraction of a second that uh, instantly almost uh, that the uh, uh, hot wire touches that chassis of your refrigerator, it trips that breaker immediately. That's the purpose of the ground wire. They seem similar but they're not. One of them is a, a both our hot wire and our neutral wire are normally current carrying conductors. They're designed to handle the full loads that are placed on them. The ground wire is only there in case of an accident. To carry that load back in case something somehow one of those hot wires touches uh, a touchable metal object, it instantly brings that current back to uh, the circuit breaker so it can trip and activate and shut the circuit off automatically keeping you safe. Um, a good combination of circuit breakers and GFCIs or if you're in Europe RCDs is the best way to keep you and your family safe um, from accidental electrical faults. And if you have any questions feel free to email us uh, wherever you're watching us, leave us some comments. Uh, we love to hear from you, and I hope this is uh, helpful. Send us an email on any suggestions for future videos or podcasts you may have, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this episode helpful, please give us a quick like down below and subscribe to stay up to date on future educational videos we will be publishing. And feel free to post questions or comments below as well. We might even feature your questions in future videos. If you'd like to learn more about the amazing world of electrical engineering and grounding, be sure to check out our certified online courses at the links in the description below to kickstart your career. See you next time.